Hello YouTube, it's me again today, we're back with some more Spell Tour, we last left off. We had a betrayal from our our trusted companion, Quinn, and uh, we basically uh, taught him a lesson not to betray us again. So, that's pretty good. So, um, we're gonna go to Corellia, but first our, some of our companions will talk to us. So, let's talk to our traitor friend, Quinn. I'm fielding reports from across Imperial forces. Among the men, there's universal relief that Moff Broisk is no more. I'm sure that eases your conscience. I feel no conflict over my actions. Broisk was a blight on the Empire. You were guiding me to a new paradigm, my lord. One a bit more... improvisational. I believe it will only make me a better officer. The jury's out. I'll let you know what I think someday. I await your judgment. Yeah, I, I don't really trust him at all now. So, oh, Fett wants to talk to us. She found her! She found her! Mother was sold to a hut on Tatooine years ago. She works in a small shop there. Tiva found her, and she's headed to Tatooine already. We need to go meet her as soon as we can. Of course. We'll wrap up what we're doing and make our way to Tatooine. You're the best! Oh, and Tiva sent back not only the credits you spent getting her out of that awful place, but a gift. A sign of respect from her old moth. Okay, as soon as we can. Tatooine. I wonder what Mother will think of me now. So, Tatooine, uh, and I'll wait for a little bit. And, uh, Pierce wants, is the last one to talk to us. Hey, man. Got a secure message from General Racton. You'll want to hear this. My lord, I received Lieutenant Pierce's con. I've reinstated Black Ops and excused the team from their prior assignments. If all the preparations have been made, you have Imperial clearance for your assault on the Bastion. Had a feeling this was it. Hard to believe we're finally making our move. We have no more time for preparations. Don't need any. Unless racton has got some surprises. Due to the massive Republic presence at the Bastion, we've made special arrangements to get Pierce's team within range. You'll infiltrate a shuttle of Republic reinforcements headed for the area. We've already procured the necessary disguises. Surprise is essential. Therefore, I must ask that you remain behind, my lord. Your presence would expose our plans. I'm sure there's a Republic uniform in my size. They'll have Jedi along. No uniform would hide your power. You made this assault possible, my lord. The credit is yours. Should Pierce and his team succeed, the Empire is trusting Black Ops with our victory. I hope it is not misplaced. General Racton out. The team has their instructions. Have to leave now if I'm going to make the rendezvous. When the Bastion falls, the Republic will know our power. So will the Empire. Just how I like it. Okay. Gates open, security's down, and the CO is dead. The Bastion belongs to the Empire. Welcome to Black Ops Victory, my lord. Long odds, big prize, no survivors. Were all your preparations worth the effort? It's a few snags. Tenido's weapons lost power. Couple of Laurent's men died. Arlos tripped a system hacking in. Took a bit of damage myself. Going to take some time to heal. Let you know when I'm up for a full debrief. Okay, so that's that. Now it's time to go to Corellia, the final planet, for our the end of our class story. Core Worlds. <coughs> Corellia. <coughs> I have landed on Corellia. The ledge is near. Roth, you are there to protect Darth Thauron from Barriss's threats. Our efforts to locate his secret headquarters are ongoing. Another digit of the hand will tap the Roth. Meanwhile, we are tracking three assassins arriving on secret landing fields. 
It will be difficult to stop them all. Leave that to me. Transmitting the coordinates for all three landing strips. Received, my lord. These killers are but the first. There will be more. Varon actively defies Varus. If he dies, Varus will be named the voice of the Emperor. Protect Darth Varon at all costs, and aid in his attempts to undermine our enemy. Goodbye. My lord, I'm detecting a forced transmission. I assume you still recognize me. Consider yourself fortunate that I am reaching out like this. My old master, you have some nerve showing your face. I believe you have the market on nerve cornered, my friend. I'm here to tell you that you are being deceived. The organization you work for is not the Emperor's hand. You're the deceiver, Barris. I don't blame you for doubting me, and I will not apologize for my actions. I am the voice of the Emperor, and there is a reason for all we do. In the end, what you think does not matter. So believe what you will, but your handlers have you in over your head, sticking your wet nose in Darth business. Soon I'll be sticking my lightsaber in a Darth. Your anger has blinded you. Walk away now, and perhaps our previous animosities can be swept aside. He's the one who needs to seek forgiveness. The man has lost his mind. No more talk. Barris's assassins must be stopped. Okay, so let's do this. Ah, Corellia. We'll let the plant load in. Alright, we have arrived on Corellia. <laughs> Labor Valley. Final planet. I mean, it's amazing how fast we've actually <coughs> progressed this. I mean, I think we've done this in like a maximum of like two months. The entire story. So when we get the 40 I can hit that space point and modify my gear. Good to know. Ah, Corellia. So this is where the war is focused, huh? Maybe someday it'll look like Terrace. Perhaps. Industrial monitoring station. <laughs> My character's home world. Yeah, it does really look any different. I think we believe Corellia is an open world. Circa Island, interesting.
pretty interesting place though. I don't think I ever visited here on my tree because it was already like pre-explored. Assassin. Seth, identify yourself. I don't answer to droids. Target locked. That's the assassin a droid? So that's the first assassin wiped out. <clears throat> At least he's kind of close. They're all close by. Partially a mistake on the Ferris's part, but convenient for us as well. It'd still be like a Jedi assassin. <clears throat> oh, Mandalorian. A welcoming committee. Some days you just can't land secretly on a planet, even on a secret landing strip. This is going to be your secret graveyard. Oh, you're funny. I like that. Not a lot of funny in my line of work. I know who you are. You're the apprentice Darth Barris thought he had killed. Marvelous. I've studied you, followed your exploits across the galaxy. You're a personal hero of mine. If you know me, you know what I'll do to you if we fight. You don't have to tell me. I've kept track of your kills. I heard of you when you killed Lord Grathen's son on Dromund Kaas. Three different Sith hired me to do that. You took out Nomen Kar and Admiral Monk and the War Trust and countless Jedi. Good, good stuff. It's nice to be appreciated. It's an honor to meet you. So sad I have to kill you. I've imagined facing you, and given my knowledge, I have pretty good ideas on taking you down. Well, here, let me show you. I'll show you, boy. <laughs> hmm. 
so I chances are the third one will be either like a Sith or a bounty hunter. This one's further down the road. Just go straight down. It's convenient. I don't even think I see it up ahead. Yep, there it is. Not no cutscene this time. He already landed. Ralph, I mark your position. The third of the three secret landing strips. Your third target arrived earlier than expected. I am Servant Eleven of the Hand. You were told to expect my call. I will hunt down the third assassin. Where is he? I tracked his landing. I lost visual surveillance. But my primary purpose is a success. I have located Darth Valron's secret headquarters. Uploading coordinates. He is operating within hostile territory. A massive tower in the heart of Incorporation Island. All Republic controlled. Amazing. The man is daring. I'll give him that. Yes. He orchestrates the war against the Republic right under their very noses. His operations must be disguised as Republic, but if I found him, Barris's missing assassin could too. Hold? Yes? I will convey it. Eleven out. Servant two has spoken to me. He says to be ready for suspicion. I can handle anything this fake Republic headquarters may have waiting for me. You are the Emperor's wrath. My mission is complete. I am recalled. The Hand hopes you find Valron before the Assassin strikes. Okay. Corporation uh, Island. Hmm. So you'll be like over here, I think. So it's like he's kind of like over to the left. Pads are currently open for business. Wow, this is impressive. <clears throat> yeah, man, this is amazing. Shield generators. See if we can just 
sneak our way in. I don't know, the shields are over here. Of course. This always does the trick. Not fun, by the way. Not fun at all. Come on, bring it. Me on this thing. There we go. What the how? I oh, bet you take care of it. I'll deal with you guys. Time for the sticky grenade. Okay, yeah, that's one down. Enter the occupied tower. Okay, seems easy enough.
and you're out. Sith, are you lost? You're in a Republic aligned corporate headquarters. Your accent is poking through, fool. Uh, well, never mind that. The Consortium of Corporations has cameras in every corporate lobby, so we are being observed by the Empire's enemies as we speak. A Sith comes in here, he's gonna meet resistance, so, uh, we're gonna have to kill you. It's time for Dark Three. Then you die at my hands. Sound the alarm! Sir Barris's most deadly apprentice has finally found us. My master has been on to you from the beginning. I am no longer Darth Barris's apprentice. Yes, yes, we've all heard about Barris betraying you. No one's buying it. Vauran can smell Barris's ploys a thousand light years away. He knows the rift between you and your master is a ruse, painstakingly orchestrated to get you close enough to strike. So, Drop the act. Vauron and I seek the same goal. My sole purpose is to destroy Darth Barris. So stubborn. We'll see your tune change when you're bleeding to death. Die, assassin. He's an arrogant little shit. Noise. Lose the elevator to the penthouse. Oh, well, I guess this is it. <coughs> You'll never find out, scum. You defeated Lord Harish, but you can't overcome the three of us at once. Stop! Lord Ket, stand down! My lord, Dang. retreat into the shadows. We will stop this assassin. There could be ten of you, and you would fail. Leave us. Listen to your master, Ket. Thank you for sparing them. They will not be a problem for you or your master. I applaud you. Convey my congratulations to your master for his superior gameplay. The kill is yours. I ask only that I not suffer the indignity of decapitation. The last thing I want is your death. Barris is not my master. My mission is to bring him down. Nothing more can be gained by maintaining the deception. Ah. If this is true, the game is renewed. Darth Vauron, Barris says you gotta die. Barris strikes. Ah. 
always does the trick. True. <clears throat> Please let me kill that one. That assassin had me dead to rights. You did not hesitate to defend me. My friend, I am convinced. What's more, I believe, with my help, you can defeat Darth Barriss. I was hoping you'd say that. Then, uh, I have a little confession to make. It is true that I'm here to lead our important war effort, but there are other reasons I chose Corellia. Significant pillars of Barriss's power base are here, and together we can tear them down. I'm interested in any chance to hurt Barriss, but he will make more attempts on your life. You must relocate to my ship, where my crew can protect you. Far be it from me to defy you. My protection here has taken a recent hit. But before I go, let me guide you. Most of the Dark Council knows Barris is not the Emperor's true voice, but Barris's two top agents force them to support his bid. One agent safeguards secrets that he uses as leverage. The other leads Jedi Masters in campaigns against Sith who defy him. Now. If they were to disappear... My old master will be left high and dry. Ah, exactly. His support on the Council will evaporate. Barriss's first undercover agent is posing as Colonel Senks of the Karelian Resistance. His stronghold is a labyrinth of secret passages. Unless you scramble his security codes before laying siege, he'll be able to flee through a dozen different escape tunnels. What about Barriss's other agent? Uh, my operative is uncovering the identity and location of his Jedi infiltrator. I expect results soon. For now, Senx. These pulse disruptors will kill all electronic code emissions, effectively locking Senx's secret passages. In truth, he's a fantastic resource. It will be a shame to lose an agent of his caliber. I'll compel him to denounce Barriss and join you. An excellent solution, if it can be done. My apprentices and I will report to your ship now. The minute I can point you to the second of Barriss's agents, I will. For now, Colonel Senx. My lord, I have Darth Vyrorn here for you. My friend, I am in the hands of your crew now. <laughs> They are an interesting assortment. They will extend every courtesy to you. I will enjoy that. If Senx doesn't hand over the files he safeguards once you've neutralized him, I advise destroying his database to eliminate it all. Uh, once done, contact me. But leave the compound first. It's Barris's facility and sure to be bugged. Until then, Okay, so that's that. Okay. Let's take a look at our shield. <clears throat> oh, this is much more this is much more better. Now I'm Dark Three. Almost at thirteen thousand health. Okay. Oh, time to see how I look like. Well, dang, I'm all white. Uh, I'm like so white. I have truly embraced the dark side. Next are negative. Oh, jeez.
Wow. Well, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.